Okay, so here we are with the chord generator. So we've given you a quick idea of what happens here with this. We've got, you know, a selection of chords, and this is a selection of chords within the C minor scale. So you can, if I can come up here, for example, I can change what type of scale we've got, right? So I could go major, for example, right? Now it's C major. Okay, um, let's go back to minor. I can change the um, type of minor we're playing. So here we are, F sharp minor. And we've got all sorts of interesting uh, options here. You know, Arabic, for example. This works particularly when I start playing the smart scale. So loads of options there already, right, to pick from. Um, but also what's cool is um, Core Prism have made a load of really interesting uh, kind of presets here. So you've got bold, chill, dark, deep, happy, smooth, and warm. And within that, we've got uh, selections of hip-hop, funk, jazz, dance hall, kind of regga reggaeton, house, uh, you know, warm, so these are all things just to experiment with and, and try out. Let's just try one. Uh, and let's try chill, hip hop, funk, jazz, chill one. We've got a, a, a kind of constructed uh, chord progression here. Very nice, right? So let's just take it back to the default and show you some of the options we've got in here. So. So first of all, the way that it plays it, we'll stay in C minor for now. So you can see here we've got chord types that's playing triads. We can go and pick what, what's called different voicings. Um, so for example, when I'm on a triad and I press C minor, I can see that these three notes um, have played in a triad. What, what a different voicing will do will move uh, notes within that chord to other notes in different octaves. Um, so let's have a look at one. Let's do let's do a triad with open voicing. You can see that it's moved that sharp note up and made given us a little kind of highlight. So that changes the tone of the chord. It gives you a different kind of bit of musical palette to work with. Um, so again, just amazing way of diving in and quickly doing some quite complicated music theory stuff if you don't necessarily know it, come in and just play around and see if you like the tone of these. So let's try a second. Brilliant, right? Um, so what I'm going to do next um, is just show you the strum. So strum is basically is a way it's going to play through the chord essentially, right? So rather than all those notes hitting exactly the same time, it's almost like a guitar, how you strum down the strings and hit each note one at a time. So let's just have it on up, and it's defaults to 64, let's have a listen. So it's a nice up on each chord. Beautiful, right? So we can change that, so I could have it really slow. So again, the, the variation you can get just from a few of these controls in this, even just this chord section alone is incredible. Um, let's uh, go back where were we, 64. So we've got up, we can change that direction, so we have them strumming downwards. We can have it alternate, so it'll go up, and then the next chord will go down. It's quite cool. Or random. Now, I was having quite fun with this, because what I was doing, I was doing random and a slower... Um, amount on my chord 
and you get some quite you can get some really interesting little kind of all just one note being played to create those little kind of uh, crescendos etc um, I quite like the simple up on this on the 64 it was really nice we can have repeat on okay so if I just turn strum off a second we can get this to repeat our chord so, so it's repeating it on four notes right So this was really useful, like obviously with synthesizers, maybe a more dance kind of oriented stuff is really good. Just want to see what this sounds like actually with the strum still on. Still does it. Really cool. Um, you'll see here we've also got this like little um, octave selection here. Let me just turn. Uh, I'm gonna leave the strum on. I'm gonna turn the repeat off though. What we've got here, we can choose the octave, which I find really useful. Some plugins you can't do this straight from the um, plugin itself. Um, and yeah, look, we've got. Um, I can just quickly drop it down to an octave I like. So maybe I want it a bit lower. Um, what stack means is it's going to play another octave on top. So let's stack a higher octave, and we'll get we'll get that lower octave I put in and the original octave you heard. Really big, thick chord now, isn't it? 